Hi, this is Galit Gofarb, and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about five tips for long-lasting health and weight loss success. Now, regaining your health or losing weight after a long period of faulty eating and lifestyle habits can take a lot of physical, emotional, and mental effort. And once the goal of your ideal weight and health are reached, you feel like those extra pounds or poor health will never return. But the truth is the poor health and weight gain will return if you fall back into the same negative habits as before. Now in this video, I will cover five simple tips that will guarantee you that you will stay on your path to health and keep the weight, any excess weight that you lost off for good. So let's begin. The first tip is to forget about dieting. Even if you have managed to lose your excess weight through a very drastic dietary approach or through any fad diet, in order to maintain the weight you lost, a radically different approach is needed. Typically, dieters on any fad diet will gain back their excess weight within 6 to 12 months. Most will even gain back much more weight than they lost after they stopped the fad diet. A change in outlook on food is necessary. Now, easier said than done, food shouldn't substitute anything else but being a source of nourishment. Food shouldn't be a substitute for love or comfort. Uh, it is best to visualize yourself receiving the love you need instead of giving this job over to comfort foods when you do not receive the love and support you need from your family or people who are closest to you. This is actually how I healed myself from the eating dis disorder bulimia. Every day I would envision myself being cradled in loving arms and receiving all of the love that I needed. This actually worked for me and it gave me feelings of love and security and importance that everyone needs to receive. The fact that I learned to give this love to myself made me, with time, a very independent and happy woman, since my self-worth was not dependent on anything outside of myself, which is very, very powerful place to be. Food should be eaten for nourishment and sustainability alone. And when you find other ways to supply your other emotional needs instead of foods, you can achieve this. Foods will become only a source of nourishment for your body and then you will naturally find yourself choosing only the best and healthiest, most nourishing foods to put inside your body to support it. Now make it a habit to eat foods rich in fiber and mostly plant-based proteins as well as essential fatty acids, minerals, and vitamins. The foods richest in these essential nutrients are, of course, fruits, vegetables, seeds, whole grains, and legumes. Due to their high nutrient uh, density, these foods give you the sense of fullness also for longer, for a longer period of time. And they do not cause weight gain, even if eaten consistently throughout the day in many, many portions, uh, as only if they, of course, are eaten raw or cooked without too much added oils and, of course, no added sugars. Now you may use aromatic vegetables like onions and garlic, as well as different spices and herbs to help healthy meals look, taste, and also smell terrific and delicious. Another important tool that may seem contradictory, but actually does boost metabolism, is to eat many, many small meals throughout the day, about every three hours. Now this is what I mentioned, what I was talking about before. When I say meals, I am actually talking about small snack-sized meals. These are always healthier to consume and keep the body running well throughout the day, while at night there is a period of fasting that helps burn fat and maintain the health of the body through, the, through repair and growth. To eat smaller meals than you are used to, use smaller plates to keep the portions small. Also, this maintains stable blood sugar levels, especially when you're eating a natural fiber-rich foods. You won't feel that afternoon slump of energy that often comes before dinner. In fact, you will be more energetic and much more productive, and these will already improve your mood. Also, being more conscious of what uh, you are eating and when you are eating it is very important. In my United Nations talk, I mentioned how we make about 200 food choices a day that are mostly made through our default behaviors that were passed on to us by family members. These choices are mostly done unconsciously, but we can make them more conscious when we become more aware of our behaviors throughout the day. Often we are too tired or too busy to notice how our food tastes or even what we are eating. And this is especially common when we are either eating in larger groups or when we are eating on the go. At these times, we tend to eat more than we need, leaving us feeling bloated and heavy. Instead, 
Try to sit down when you eat a meal. Aim not to eat on the go or while doing other things. And no matter with who you are while you are eating, take the time to acknowledge what you are eating and to appreciate your food. Taking in the whole experience of eating allows you to be present, aware, and conscious of what you are eating while also enjoying its nourishing, nourishment more. <laughs> this also prevents overindulgent patterns. Also, drinking sufficient water is critical to maintaining a healthy weight. Drinking sufficient plain, clean water throughout the day, especially in between meals, increases metabolism and keeps your body hydrated and helps you lose weight more easily and maintain the weight that you lost. You can also add vegetable slices or fruit slices into your water for added flavor. And these added nutrients also add to the attractiveness of water if you do not like water or are not used to drinking plain drinking water. You also definitely want to avoid consuming refined foods of all kinds. When you eat regular small meals throughout the day, you will find yourself with less food cravings and much more self-control. By feeding your body with nutrient-dense live foods, you will be supporting a healthy weight and you will feel energetic and also happier over time since these foods have a lasting effect on your mood and sustain the levels of serotonin in your body. Nourishing foods maintain the ongoing growth of cells needed for repair and maintenance of the body, ensuring that you have a healthy cellular activity and metabolic processes are maintained. Now, the second tip that will guarantee that you keep your health and excess weight off for good is to accept setbacks. Setbacks will happen. It's your attitude towards them that counts. There will be days when you will be faced with difficult choices like when going out with friends or going out to a party and on these occasions it is best to plan ahead and stay one step ahead of the game. If you know that no healthy options will be served, it is best to have a small meal before going to the event. This doesn't mean that at the end of the day you will eat more. In fact, 20 minutes after you consume your meal at home and just arrive at the party, you will feel full and have the self-control to watch what you're eating with your mind rather than with your eyes. And uh, this will help you control what you put into your body. And then you can only eat what is actually right for you. Now, this will prevent from you from any cravings because most cravings actually come from certain nutrient deficiencies or hunger and when you consume whole foods at regular intervals throughout the day deficiencies are less likely to occur. Now the third tip that will guarantee that you keep your health and any excess weight off for good is to have a good support network. This is very very important. It is also very important to have people around you who have similar beliefs and values. Now when certain beliefs and values change throughout a person's life as they grow and progress in, in life, um, then it is better to have people around you who believe and have the same values as you do. Now, this makes it easier to enjoy a healthy, well-balanced lifestyle. People who share similar beliefs and values will support you and believe in what you are doing. And you can also share works, workouts together or even cook together with you. These people can become your accountability partners as well so that you, when you have a slip up, someone always has your back. Now I know that not all people change their beliefs and values at the same time or even some people don't change them at all. <laughs> Living in such a, an environment with such people around you will cause constant friction, tension and unhappiness and often people either go their separate ways or live in real frustration. The relationships we have in our lives are essential for maintaining our wellness and well-being. Being loved and appreciated by others for who we are and our lifestyle choices is a need that most of us do share. So this is very, very important. Now the fourth tip that will guarantee that you keep your health and any excess weight off for good is to exercise. <laughs> now even if you lost the weight without doing any exercise, it's time to incorporate exercise into your life. Studies show that for weight loss maintenance, a person should move themselves continuously for about 15 minutes per day, 50, five, zero, five days of the week. Now, any endurance activity is good and it's actually simpler to, simpler to incorporate this into your life than you may think. You can choose any enjoyable activity that you like and you should start slowly, even gardening and cleaning the house do count as endurance activities. Now, make the exercise a natural part of your life and you may not want to do it with your partner if you go out and exercise. In this way, every time someone else will encourage the other person. 
You can join a gym and make new friends. And after some time of exercising, exercising will just naturally become a part of your daily routine. And you may even look forward to it. And uh, this is like your time, your personal time for yourself that you take for yourself. It's very, very important. Now, endurance exercise is also very good for increasing muscle mass, which burns more energy than fat tissue, even while we sleep. And building muscle mass at a later age uh, or building it throughout your life and then having it there at a later age and keeping it through constant exercise will prevent the decrease of bone mass and prevents fatigue and also will prevent falls. Uh, now, exercise also improves mental health and prevents at, at, and even helps reverse many chronic diseases. Now, the fifth and last tip that will guarantee that you keep your health and any excess weight off for good is to enjoy life. We tend to get so focused on the small and petty little things of life, life instead of taking things a little bit easier and enjoying the moment. Our bodies are not designed to be in the fight and flight mode on a consistent basis. The fight or flight mode is intended to save us from harm, but from immediate harm, not danger that is ongoing all the time. Now to support a healthy body and a healthy mental attitude, we need to have time to contemplate and be at peace and also to have fun. A decision to lead a healthy lifestyle needs to be made and stuck with. It is just a decision. How we live our life is an ongoing decision that we make every single day and every single minute of our lives. Disciplined focus goes a very, very long way, especially in the fast paced world that we live in and we're accustomed to. And it all begins with a decision. So feel free to comment on this video below. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get uh, updates whenever I upload a video, which is about once a week. Also visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com for a lot of health and weight loss and nutritional information that is mostly free on the site and some also programs that you can purchase uh, to help you achieve all of your health goals. Thank you very much for joining.